Valentino Womo, born in Roma, intense. That is a mouthful. The first release of the year, and I'm gonna call it now. It's the year of the intense flankers. I'm just gonna put it out there. I've never owned any Valentinos before. I don't own the original Born in Roma, and I don't own Yellow Dream. This is gonna be a pure blind test. I've not smelt any of those before, so if you're looking for a comparison, I'm sorry, find a different video. Box has some embossed texture on it. It's got pink font. Real men wear pink. Born in Roma Intense, that's exciting. Ooh, that bottle is dope, man. That is super dope. It's got some beautiful embossed texture on the bottle. It's like a little diamond pattern. A pink font on like a leathery texture, almost like Tom Ford ombre leather kind of texture. Good stuff. Got a sexy collar on it and it's a cap and it exposes the atomizer at the top. It looks like it's pink juice inside, so the bottle is clear and it's got some pink juice. Hopefully it doesn't stain. That would suck. Beautiful presentation. I have never owned a, a Valentino Born in Roma or a Valentino Womo uh, bottle before, and from what I gather, I remember them being a little bit fatter from, you know, seeing it on the internet. It's literally what body shaming is. But nevertheless, I'm excited for this. Let's give it a, uh, a whirl. You're going to kill somebody! Just a few sprays. You're going to jail for life, player! Ooh, super beautiful in the air. Okay, I'm getting a lot of lavender in the air. like a bubblegum sweetness, a vanilla, a strong vanilla that's in the air. Before we continue, let's talk about some of the notes. There's only three notes listed, so um, I'm assuming that there's more going on in here, but I'm just gonna take it for what it is. Vanilla, vetiver, lavender. Everybody knows I'm a sucker for vanilla, and so vanilla at the top is like a no-brainer for me. Obviously, I'm gonna pick it up. Vetiver and lavender in the base and the mid, it's just, Super good. The note breakdown just by itself is super pleasant. Got a beautiful lavender character going on in here, pushing off tremendously. So it's very aromatic with that lavender. It's just pushing it off. It's coming across a little earthy to me and a little, you know, I can smell the vanilla in here, definitely. And it's like a sweeter kind of vanilla with some earthy tones that are like kind of sprinkled throughout in here. And then obviously I'm getting some woody aspects. I think every men's fragrance nowadays has wood in it. And that's probably contributing to the vetiver, but I wouldn't be shocked if there's like some other kind of wood formula in here. Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if there's like isoe super or amber wood in here, like kind of mixing together with the vetiver, but it, it does come across earthy and woody but it's supported so heavily by some sweetness, overall sweetness, and the lavender is just helping it push off that vanilla. I'm actually really digging it. The kind of scent character that I'm getting with this is honestly like a Ralph's Club, honestly, without all that musk that Ralph's Club has, but very lavender heavy. It's pushing off that vanilla, the sweetness of the vanilla, and it's just well-rounded in the base with some woods. I'm thinking that there's more going on than just vetiver, but if um, I'm just going off of the notes that they give me, I get a lot of the woody vetiver. It's not an insane earthy vetiver. It's more of a smooth kind of woods to it. It's a very smooth fragrance. Smooth as smooth can be. So smooth. But in terms of like the scent kind of character, it's gonna lean towards like a Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum. Kind of does the same thing that like a Y Eau de Parfum would do, or you know, like some, that kind of fresh DNA. It is very sweet, so if you don't like sweet fragrances, maybe if you're away from this one, I'm gonna spend a few hours with it. Just get to know it a little bit. Maybe shoot some B-roll of this sexy beast, and then I'll get back to you with my thoughts. Okay, so I spent some time with it. So kind of how I, you know, shoot my first reaction videos is I, f I react to it initially, I unbox it, I smell it, it's good. And then I go and shoot all the B-roll for it, and then I kind of wrap up and then come back to you guys. Anyway, after spending some time with it, two hours or so with it. Um, I like it, I really do. Um, it is a little bit generic, it's a little bit basic. If you guys are kind of fragrance connoisseurs or fragrance lovers, you'll know how redundant this is. But I don't like to be all negative and like a mumbo jumbo guy, but I wanna be honest with you guys, it is a little basic, but I really like it. 
I love the lavender in here that's pushing off the vanilla, and the vanilla is not too overbearing. It really focuses on that lavender just pushing it off, and it's more of a woody, kind of creamy vanilla kind of scent than anything. I think it's smooth, it's delicious. There's some, the sweetness in here isn't too insanely overpowering to where you get a headache. Finding this really, really pleasant. I know it could be labeled as a very, you know, basic kind of perfume. Obviously I've only spent about two-ish hours with it. So, you know, bear in mind that I am going to spend more time with it and get my final conclusion later on down the road. But for right now, I like it. I like it a lot. It's sweet. It's aromatic. I look at this as a la more lavender heavy vanilla, less musk, Ralph's Club Eau de Parfum. Final conclusion for Valentino Woma, born in Roma, intense. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the lavender. I like the vanilla. The woods are really playing a beautiful symphony with everything going on. It's very aromatic and it's just, it's really pleasant. Have you guys tried Valentino Womo Born in Roma Intense, the new flanker of the year? I'm looking forward to uh, more releases coming soon, but this one is actually, we're off to a great start, gentlemen. This is phenomenal. I'm excited to get some more wear out of this. Hopefully the pink juice doesn't stain all my clothes. That would be embarrassing. Just walk around with a bunch of pink stains on myself. If this is the first time you're watching me, subscribe to the channel. I've got nothing but fragrance related content here, and I'm gonna review more as they come out. Stay tuned to find out if I go broke.